They actually did what they were supposed to do. Woo! So we just moved the cows. We got the two babies from the big farm. Uh, the baby calves that are the bull calves that's gonna be our next meet for 22, 23. So we separated the mamas. That, that actually went a little bit better than we thought it was gonna go. So this grass looks really good. They've not been over here by the big pond. Uh, I know a lot of people ask about our, our big farm. Uh, actually, when we call it the big farm, it's just because we have more pasture. It actually, and has a few more cow because it's tied into another family member. It's got some cows. But ours is actually a bigger farm when it comes to farming. We just call this our big farm, our big barn. But uh, I'm real pleased with this grass, this bahia. We planted new bahia. And look, I mean, it's, it's past my knee. It's actually almost to my thigh. So that's, that's encouraging. This was one of the areas that we had trees on not too long ago. And we really didn't have a good, good grass establishment. Over there, it's still kind of struggling. But, that being said, this area looks really nice. So we got all the cows moved. We kept all the calves over there because all of them are weaning age. These are all basically uh, fall calves. Uh, I mean, sorry, spring calves. And we're weaning them for fall. And all the boys will cut and get ready for steers. And then the girls will be, of course, little heifers. We have one baby that we did move over here. That was probably the challenging part to get the one baby over. It's this little baby right here. She was a fall calver for this Charlay. But she's actually, uh, or this little baby is a little bull calf. That's actually Ferdinand's last calf up here before we sold him. But look at this grass they're grazing on. Beautiful. And Herford right there is gorgeous. It's not mine, but that is a beautiful, beautiful Herford. There's a Ginger. There's Holly. That's our two, and that's the ones we had to get the babies off of because those babies are starting to bring them down. And before hay season, we want to make sure that uh, they're weaned. Man, look at this grass. This looks really nice. The grass is doing good. The grass bahia is taller than the, than the dog fennel. And also all this ragweed and just some random other junk. It's got some good crab grass. So the, the stuff that's seeding right now, most of it is actually pretty good stuff. So I'm hoping that'll help establish the cows will eat what they want, stomp on the rest, and reseed. What's helped this is over overseeding, and we've been bush hogging after every time. So it's given that grass a, a even playing field with the dog fennel, and then that grass has actually grown quicker than the weed. So that's helped it really do well. Back here is we own that land too. And that's uh, some hunting area. It's got some hardwoods back there. Pretty nice size buck. So again, we call this our big area, but really it's not a farm as much as it's just some land for our family to kind of share. I have way too much cream. So what do you do when you have too much cream? I've been filling this big, this is the gallon jar, almost all the way full and spinning it with butter about every other day. So today I said no more butter. We are making homemade ice cream. Ice cream. And I do have a video on our old fashioned homemade ice cream. Y'all be sure to check that out. It is the best that we have found. It really is like homemade, uh, old fashioned ice cream. Homemade ice cream that's like old fashioned. So we are gonna enjoy that treat this afternoon. It is kind of funny that they put our meat in these boxes to come home in because you didn't want it in those trays. And it's like stockyard beef boxes. <laughs> <laughs> well, what they sent home last time, I was like, mm, I don't think I want those. It in was like this like meat trays that had like funky. Yeah. <laughs> well, you could just tell that it's the meat and meat, what does it do? It bleeds out. So I was like, yeah, let's not put those in my car this time. So we've got, of course, our, our, our quartered out 
pig that we're going to finish breaking down. Uh, George is in here, so it's Ernie George, and then of course the steer. This is over 700 pounds worth of meat and lard. Is that not crazy? That is crazy, and I'm so excited because I'm going to be canning okra and lard probably next week. Hey, so what did we do this morning? We used our last what? Our last pack of sausage. Last pack of sausage yep. as we were picking up this box, of, all our boxes of our yep. pigs. So that was perfect timing there. Yeah, I pulled it out because I'm cooking for a local family. And I was like, Colby, go get me some sausage out. He was like, we don't have any. I was like, what? What? We don't have any. I was like, what? Yeah. And I said, you better dig in there. He said, we had two more packs. So that was, that was it. We had two packs of sausage. But now we have all our sausage back. Now this is, a lot of sausage. this was the grind that we got off of George. We're hoping that everything's good on it. So we could not do this because we, he was just a little too big for us. The other here, typically we get our, our hogs half. Uh, this uh, meat house was the first time we've ever used to do pork. And instead of just halving it, they went on and cleaned and quartered it in primals, which I, I don't know if I'm happy about that, but he was like, I just wanted to do a favor for you. And, uh, I like to do our own stuff. I like to do our own cuts, but it is what it is. I can't be mad uh, because he didn't charge me for it. He thought he was doing me a favor, and really for me, I like to do my own. So. Well, I told Colby when somebody don't ever assume because you know what, but to just call and say, hey man, I was going to do this for you. I would have said, hey, you should have called, dude. But, you know, we're crazy busy trying to finish the greenhouse. We're crazy busy with everything else we're going on. So it may have been a blessing in disguise for this once uh, to get done. In our hogs, we have two hogs processed, American Guinea hogs. We have the steer that we processed, which was crisped off. Total, all together, we have about 700 pounds. Averaging out with all the feed that we put towards them, all the hay we put towards them, everything that we put towards these animals, we have less than $2.40 in. That's phenomenal. Our, our steer, only we only had about a dollar, dollar and a half in. The pigs, we had about $2.40 uh, uh, $2 in. So that's what it averaged out to be is $2.40 when you add the steer back in there. So very pleased with that. As I was there waiting on our meat to get done, for uh for you to go buy a steak right now in that meat market was around 12 to 16 dollars per pound that's crazy and and the hamburger meat was around five to six dollars a pound i went to walmart right after just to see what their prices are just so i could compare so we have grass-fed organic raised beef for less than two dollars and forty cents a pound at walmart it was like seven dollars a pound for what they considered organic so i was very pleased with that other than that our sausage our round steaks off this I mean, everything looks phenomenal. We got to cut up the rest of the pork chops, but all in all, we have over 700 pounds of meat. We have lard that Misty will render down. We are blessed to have it, so glad to have it, and glad to put more meat up in our freezers and our cans. It'll take us through basically probably another two years worth of meat uh, with the steer because we still have PD out there. And then also today, you're fixing to see us go get our Uno and Valor and bring them back to the house. So a lot of things transpiring, but this video shows what the blessing of our animals and how they bless us back. These animals helped us produce. I mean, you think of George. George not only paid for himself because he, he provided us many litters of our piglets, but then also to then have our steer off of our dairy girls that is providing milk. So all this meat actually probably didn't even cost us $2.40 a pound. It was actually probably free because George paid for himself over and over with his litter. And then again, we were able to sell Dedio, we were able to sell uh, Elsa and then provide milk. So all that, when you add all that into it, it probably wasn't even that in the meat. So to have this here, to then turn around and put two brand new steers out there that are weaning, you can't ask for more than that. That is sustainability. That is how we like to farm here at the Max. Meat, huh? Meat. Yeah, let's go with those too. And this freezer is full. And closing it up. Now start on that freezer and then go downstairs with the rest. So what's good is we still got 
This is one more big shoulder down here that I cut up from the last hog. This is one more big ham for the butt. So we've got a good bit right there. It's a fresh ham basically and a whole shoulder. And we'll do this whole, we'll smoke both of these together. So we'll cure this out when we do our bacon next and do this bacon. We'll go and smoke some pork um, just for us to eat for the day. And I'll already smoke this and put it up for the freezer. So we have that, we have all this other space. We're gonna put all the rest of this meat in. How we believe in storage guys. This is all that, that fruit from my, my Patriot Supply. My Patriot Supply. You need to make sure you are utilizing that if you hadn't. Our water well stuff. Look at all the cans over here behind Aiden and Eliza that we've stocked up on because Misty's going to start doing some, uh, some more canning for fall. So uh, a lot going on. We have our big bags of flour everywhere. So a lot of storage up here. So let's get this meat up. There's some salt. That's all honey. We have honey. Look at that. 25 gallons worth of honey right there too. They actually did what they were supposed to do. Woo! 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 They actually separated out exactly too, didn't they? They really did. Them babies. Well, that was easier than I expected, too, wasn't it? Yeah, I'm, that scares me. We've had too much easiness with all cows today, so that means my milking is going to be terrible tomorrow morning. Well, I'm just hoping that this easiness from them now doesn't mean torture later. <laughs> <laughs> no well, jumping fences, boys. Let's we'll cut them later. And They're both them. actually beautiful. Yeah, that. that yeah, then you can tell there's a lot of brain or, or a lot of brain gets in that one right there. Look, he's trying to nurse. He's bumping her. He thinks she's got me old. Ah! She's bad. <laughs> you see that? Yeah. So it's amazing. So you think about this. We just put meat in the free, uh, freezer from our last steer to then turn around and bring our new steer here. And that's what's so important about having men on the farm and having bulls because ultimately we're providing our, our meat for the next time generations this is two or three generations of the cows herford's in here of course you see a generation a second generation of the dairy so we've been able to utilize these animals to feed us and to take care of us and uh this is just the next step another setup.